Well, hi folks, how you doing? It's Kev. I hope you're all well and healthy. I'm not. Let me fix the camera a little bit. Oh, there we go. I hope you're all well and healthy. I've had long COVID for the last six weeks and it's a pain in the face. Talking out loud is exhausting. But uh, I finally, for the first time in six weeks, said I really have a guitar that I need to clean, change strings on. So I'm using my energy budget for the day to do that. And I figured this part of it, I would do a video for you guys. This is the neck from my Music Man Silhouette special. Today we are going to be oiling and waxing the guitar neck, okay? This is a process that we do on necks that do not have a finish. So no lacquer, no varnish, no nitrocellulose, no poly whatever, okay? This is an unfinished neck. It's sanded and then it's given a very light coating of oil and wax, okay? That's how they do it at Music Man and they're well known for it. Um, there are other guitar makers out there that um, do a similar thing with an unfinished neck and just oil and wax it and it feels beautiful. It feels delightful and wonderful. So I'm gonna show you how to do this today. Things you will need. Gunstock oil and or gunstock wax. You can use either or, I'm going to use both, okay? Gunstock oil, what does that mean? That's not gun oil. Gun oil is the oil that they use to lubricate the, the metal parts of a gun or a rifle. This is gun stock oil. The gun stock is the wooden part at the end of the rifle where people hold it, right? Um, that's the wooden part of the gun. This is the oil and wax that's used to put a durable water resistant finish on the gun stock. That's not what we're doing. When people use an oil finish on wood, they're usually building up multiple layers of oil. They put on a lot of oil, they let it dry and harden, they sand it back, they put another coat on, they sand it back, they put another coat on. It's a long process and it takes time. It produces a beautiful water resistant, hard wearing finish. But that's not what we're trying to do here. There are a number of guitar makers that do that kind of finish on the bodies of the necks of their, of their guitars, but we're not doing that. This is a light surface treatment. It's super easy to do and super fast, and you can do it literally in, I think, what we're gonna get here. I'm explaining this to you. It may take 10 minutes, you know. It really takes less time than that. This is a very fast process. It's an effective process for lightly sealing the guitar neck against changes in there's no way of completely sealing any guitar neck against changes in humidity, of course, or temperature, but this does a great job and it feels wonderful. And this is what we're gonna do, okay? On a number of Music Man guitar headstocks, the headstock is finished gloss and then you have the unfinished neck. So I'm gonna try and keep that witness line there fairly consistent. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put a little bit of tape across there just to protect that. I don't need to do tape anywhere else, okay? I'm gonna sand the neck back just to get it nice and smooth again, nice and smooth and nice and clean. So to protect the witness line, when I'm sanding, I'm gonna use a little bit of tape. This is painter's tape, okay? It's low tack, it doesn't leave any residue. Um, stick it to your clothes and then put it on and you'll get even less tack and even less residue and that's the way to do it. Now, a single piece of tape, the way it folds around the guitar neck, it's not gonna stay perfectly on the witness line. So I like to use two or three pieces of tape, um, at least one piece of tape. I fold over the corner, which makes it easier to lift. There we go. All right, so that's great. Now I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna go up the side where the nut is. I'm gonna go perpendicular to the nut. There we are. Great, and I'm gonna do that on the other side of the neck. Is it necessary to remove your neck from the guitar? It's not, actually. You can leave it on the guitar, but if you do, where the neck meets the body, you need to tape up all of the paintwork at the body end so that you don't scratch it with the sandpaper you're gonna use, okay? Now, you can see that, okay? That's not a perfectly straight line. There are a couple of little corners there. Three pieces of tape isn't quite enough. Four or five does the job better. You want to get a nice, clean, sharp witness line all the way around. All right, so I'm just going to do that. That doesn't even need to go all the way. So I'm going to tear that one off there. And I'm going to go across there too. All right, that's pretty good. Not bad. Now, what sandpaper am I using? This is European P600 grit. Okay, wet and dry paper. I'm using it dry. I am not using it wet. All right. 
Music Man themselves recommend 1200 grit. I don't recall if they said P1200, which is the European style, or US 1200. Um, this European P600 is equivalent roughly to a US 400 grit paper, okay? Um, European 1200 grit is equivalent to about 600 grit US. Okay, you can go higher than that for a smoother finish, but I don't recommend going less than P600, which is 400 US. Don't go less than that. I think it's a little bit too rough, okay? Um, we're not really trying to take off much of the surface at all. We're really just doing a very light clean. I'm working against the light here so I can see where the neck is super shiny. All right, and I'm just gonna take all the shine off. We're gonna be super careful here, all right, around the edges where the heel of the neck is because it's quite easy to cut into the edges too hard there, all right? I'm gonna allow myself to go up onto the edge of the fretboard as well, but I'm gonna be careful not to go over the fretboard and start marring the frets, okay? So I'm just gonna start with a little piece of sandpaper like this. That's all I need, all right? And I'm gonna very lightly, just with the weight of my hand, maybe even less, just very lightly, very gently, I'm gonna start at the top of the neck and I'm gonna work back and forth down the neck. The sandpaper, like this, is gonna clog up, okay? So I'm gonna change it frequently, all right? But I don't think I'll need more than about maybe two of those, all right? So as I said, I'm gonna start at the top of the neck and I'm just gonna very lightly scuff it up. I'm working against the light so I can see what I'm doing. Right now, it's not very uniform, so I'm going to work back again. Now, I can already see it's starting to clog up. There we go. See? So I'm just going to switch to a new piece of paper, hold that over. I'm going to continue just very lightly, not even the weight of my hand and pressure, you know? There we go. Get nicely in around the corner there. Always go in the direction of the grain, so it's up and down the neck, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Come back up. I'm going to fold that again. Get nicely up there. Working against the light so I can make sure that I haven't missed anything. All right, that's starting to clog up again. I'm going to go for a small piece again, but I'm almost finished. Actually, there's more left on that side. That's great. Let's go up and down the whole neck. And just get a nice uniform. We're taking the shine off the previous finish, so I want to see a uniform level of reflection from the light. This is always the tricky part. So go carefully and slowly. There's no rush. Take your time. All right. That's pretty good. Great. All right. Now we just want to get rid of the dust. Okay. Up and down. There we go. Wonderful. That's great. All right. So I was able to do it just with that piece of sandpaper. That's okay. All right. So I'm going to take a piece of paper towel and I'm just going to rub down and get rid of the dust that's left over. All right, the next step is to use our oil. Oil before wax. How often do you have to do this, people ask me. Well, the answer is if you feel like it. I know people who have had a number of Music Man guitars over a great number of years who have never done a treatment like this on the neck. And then there are people like me who do it every six months, whether it needs it or not, because we just enjoy the process. So, you know, do whatever you like. All right. The way this is done in the factory, I am reliably told, back in the day, 15, 20 years ago, Music Man used to have a get-together out in the desert for the members of the Music Man Guitar Forum. Um, they would get a factory tour, they would hang out, and uh, basically just have a nice weekend together talking about instruments and, uh, and playing music. They don't do that anymore. But when they did, um, during the factory tour, the people that were there got to see how they did this process, and it's surprisingly quick and easy. So you're going to start with paper towel. I'm just going to fold it over. All right. 
You're going to take your gun stock oil. Make sure it's well shaken and mixed. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I like to put just a little tiny hole on the top and then do that. See that? I don't need much more than that. I'm just going to do that two times. So just that. Now I'm working against the light. I'm just applying it evenly across the entire guitar neck, up and down, one time. It's one simple application, okay? I'm not doing the back end of the of the heel. You can if you like, I suppose. I just never do. All right, there we go. That's all. Make sure that you get good coverage everywhere that you've been before. Don't miss any spots. Working against the light is key. All right, there we go. Now, that goes to garbage. And you're gonna take a dry piece and you're gonna buff. How long do you wait? About that long, that's all. Just buff it right back, right now. Give it a really good, strong buff. I didn't think about this. This is the bit that's gonna kill me. Long COVID is not fun, folks. Try to avoid it if you can. It really just robs you of your energy in any exertion. You pay a very high price for it. All right, so there we go. That's it. Just buff it right back. Take all the excess oil off. The wood will take up whatever amount of oil it needs in that time, and you're done, okay? Oh my God, it feels wonderful. I love it, I love it. I'm gonna buff that again with another piece. There we are. Perfect. That's great. That's literally all it takes. Remember what I said before? This is not the kind of finish that people use on a gun stock. This is not a thick oil finish. This is a super light surface treatment. That's all we're doing, okay? I follow up with the wax. A little bit of wax here. Oh, there we go, more than I needed, but that's okay. Because we're gonna buff off the excess anyway, all right? Yeah, that's all I need. I'm just gonna fold that piece now. Again, just a nice, even coat. Work against the light so you can see where you're going. Make sure you get it everywhere it's supposed to be, nice and evenly. Perfect. That's wonderful. There we are. And once you're done, buff it off. That's all you have to do. The great thing about paper towel like this is that it's, it's not that it's abrasive, it's like super, super fine. It would be equivalent to maybe a 1200 grit, you know? It's got just enough roughness to it that it helps to give a final smooth. There we go, that's the way. Nothing else to do. Remember what I said? Super quick, super easy. That's how they do it in the factory. Wipe on, buff off. Wipe on, buff off and you're done. That's it. That feels amazing. That's wonderful. Yeah, for me, 600 grit is where I like it to be. That to me feels fantastic, you know? Now you're ready to play. Put the guitar back together, sure. That's it. I love the smell of that stuff too. I'm not gonna lie. It reminds me of my childhood. Right, any questions? Any comments? Put the questions in the comments. If you have a question, check the comments first just to make sure it hasn't been answered before. If I don't answer your question, maybe the answer is already there. Um, I'm thinking of doing a series of videos on guitar setup, basic guitar setup tutorial for everyone, starting start to finish. Do you think that's a good idea? Would you be up for that? What do you think? Let me know in the comments, okay? Um, if you liked the video, tell me by clicking like. And if you didn't like the video, well, go talk to the wall. Um, call your mom. Tell her I said hi. She's a lovely lady and she makes wonderful pies. You know this. And uh, there you go. Subscribe. It helps you and me. Look after yourself, everybody. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.